I'm hoping that he he does some good stuff. Maybe we aren't able to tell the difference between fake coaching and real coaching, but here at Aeon, we uh, we know the difference. <laughs> I want to preface this with that I've never seen this set before. I didn't watch this. I don't know what happened when. So the stuff that I'm seeing is all genuine reactions from me. Um, that uh, and I'm gonna talk about what I can. <clears throat> All right, so here we are, game one. Uh, Merc beat Wild to get here, so that's pretty cool. Oh, really? Merc beat Wild to get there? Uh, good for you. That's awesome. Pretty cool stuff. Oh, the Randy stomp, because he's like, oh, this fox isn't going to sit there that whole time. He's going to move. <laughs> Guess what Kaon did? Uh, misses that, that double jump bear. I think he wanted to, like, pivot or something. Okay. Yeah, most people do tech in place if they get dash attacked by Fox or Falco and... Okay, so stock one, I just wanted to watch that whole stock. Um, it was like a, a bunch of solid ideas together that t didn't find their footing. Um, most imp the, the most important idea that I liked the, the most out of Merc was he does this really um, solid tomahawk. That's pretty that cool. was super smart against someone like Brian who is very patient and doesn't show his hand very much and if you call him out for being that patient you you get um you get benefit pretty cool stuff oh the randy stomp because he's like oh this fox isn't gonna sit there that whole time he's gonna move guess what kaon did okay so it's not here yet uh misses that okay so he gets double jump bear he, he gets the, he gets a bunch of like something. good neutral wins and now he's in the edge. Okay, so right here is he. He dashes forward and jumps. So I think I think Kaon assumes an, an, a, a move because you know Fal one of Falcon's like most popular options is like jump forward nair, jump forward knee or something. Um, but he does jump forward tomahawk grab. But he was too forward. Like he he just misses this grab. And Falcon's grab's huge. So like I, I can't believe he actually missed that. I feel like if he didn't jump cancel, the grab would have hit. Don't quote me on that. Okay. So he barely misses that, and it actually turns into a bad situation for him. That sucks because he actually, in the moment, outplayed uh, Cam, but he miss he miscalculated how far he would go with this short hop. Place if they get dash attacked by Fox or Falco, and that upper was kind of weird. I feel like if if Merc died that a little better, he wouldn't have died. But don't quote me on that either. And they hit the ground first. Usually, people take in place. Because it's so slow, you just want to get back into the fight, I guess. I don't know. Okay, these overshot nairs, super good. I think Merc has to be more aggressive off stage. Ooh, that was awesome! Wow, super clean. That was, like, great. He did nair, and then he did immediate turnaround um, bear. Good up bear, that was smart. Or not nair, he did knee, sorry. He did knee and then immediate turnaround bear. So, like, he missed, like, the first good thing that would have maybe hit. He didn't really miss. He kind of, like, did an anticipation knee where, like, he threw it out to see if, like... Just like to threaten the space, and then when he dashed away, Brian did the 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 terrible shine stall that he always does, where he holds shine and then turns around and doesn't move, and Merc spa like spaces just around it. Bear and it would have been too late because it's not as fast. And he gets a stock, so good. That was yeah, that great, was, uh, great play. That was good. Oh, and and Merc's rocking the Red Falcon, Blood Falcon underrated, dude. Oh, okay. Wave dash, but uh, he makes it work. Mercy Ooh, I don't know why he rolled from the edge there. He wisely, uh, sweet job. Yeah. Sweet spot, double jump to the ledge, but um. Ooh, that was so good. Time, so. Oh no, he messed up, but it was okay. <laughs> oh my God, I can't believe oh, he got away he with that. He got away so with crazy. he got away with full hopping by the edge. So oh. That's the conversions he needs. That's that's the exact conversions that he needed. Uh, that was so oh, Phil, thank you for following. Greedy, that's awesome. But it would have been so huge. And now he's getting back in need. Like right uh, right here, I don't like I don't like that that Kaon like got away with doing this really like this this lazy edge play. Like he he full hopped three times and wasn't actually punished for it. Oh, he wanted it all. That was so greedy. That side B also equally as bad because Merc is holding that left side of the stage. 
and side being there just puts you back in the exact spot that he's covering. I feel like up B may be a better option than side B, but it would have or been. or side being lower, not to side B back directly on stage. Been so huge. But I'm glad that he actually had the gusto to follow up on that back air like that. And now he's getting back air need. Up tilt, down smash. Down smash. <laughs> Me and D said the same thing. Ricky Sinatra 20. Thank you for following. Good job. Back air. Rinse repeat edge guard. I cannot believe uh, Kayon's decision making sometimes. Like, down the down speed. smash there, up smash, any other Fox would have done. Up. Like, the fact, I feel like that was a weak down smash or something. It's like, what a weird, what a weird angle to get hit by a down smash at 90. Down smash. This man's a nut job. Back air. Rinse repeat edge guard. Sweet. That was that was smart. How many players would have just grabbed ledge and then? Okay. Good dash dancing. Good dash dancing again. Uh, he, he wanted tech left, but Brian hasn't really been teching like. He hasn't really been showing a consistent tech pattern. Yeah, and you know, um, I actually think lots of the neutral. That Cam plays neutral plays into Merc's strengths as a player, because uh, I don't know if you guys have ever played Ooh. Merc. Mm, that was a mess oh, up. It? Yeah, that's it. Uh, Heat. I don't know if you guys Merc, but Kai twitches. He's very, um, I don't know how to pronounce he's, that. He's Thank you for following. With the long game, you know, he plays League. That's his best game. So that this I was weird. Like the they they respected each other a lot in neutral and didn't really do much to each other. Cam plays neutral, plays into Merc's strengths. And I think Merc was the one that got impatient first and wanted to call out Brian. He never really. Uh, so far in this game, Merc hasn't really gotten much off of knee and corner, like from neutral. So. I, I question why he's gone for it again because he gets As a player, punished pretty bad off of it. Uh, that tech there was pretty played. important. He misses grabbing edge here, which is so bad because this that, that costed him a stock. And he oh, knows that. It? He yeah, knows. Yeah. Like look 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 at his head. Look at his head tilt. He's like he's like fuck. <laughs> okay, I, I missed ledge. It's like that's not even my fault. Uh, I don't know if you guys have ever that right there. Like that that's that that can tilt someone being like, damn it, I just threw away a stock for free. But you gotta tell yourself like, oops, like okay, I would have had that stock if I didn't mess up there. Played Merc, but he's very um, like he's he's okay with the long game. You know, he plays League. That's his best game is League. So like, if there's anyone who understands the oh, uh, you gotta hit that tech. Long game. But like not, I mean, I guess he he missed the tech, which was perfectly fine. Game. But like so, there, like, like if if there's anyone Brian reacted or can reacted faster just that was an upper who understands the value of long game i guess it's him you know i feel like brian sometimes forces himself to react slow which doesn't really net him a benefit and melee is like i shine that bear pace of league you know so like okay oh okay i would have just like you're doing a lot of like it's like it feels like a lot of empty hop stuff where like there's not really much action being come from the hops but like I feel like the empty hops can t be turned into empty hop dash forward grab or something. He, like he just kind of like, like, like there, empty hop dash forward grab. Like probably would have caught him before he was able to roll. You could see like he just kind of like moves around. Like he picks his spots like very deliberately. You know, like just very like. He he went too low. Slow, he just gets a uh, he just gets grabbed for it. It's weird punishes. That was clean. I always get so confused analyzing chaos sets. Oh, that dash attack covered uh covered the tech away also. That was pretty sick. Uh, okay, good patience. Down air. Oh, nice. He has some of the drop zone. I lost my set versus Zio at at Shine, uh, game three last stock because of a drop zone. Fun fact. Let's go. Ah, uh, Kaon's putting the fear in him though, cause he knows. He knows Falcon at 113. Ooh, against great Falcon, dash dance. You know, Ooh, five. the one time it works. Oh. Uh, you don't want to get grabbed there, dude. Up air? Okay, he actually survives oh, off of it. Grab. He survives he off of it, there, and dude. I feel like this at this situation, you just run to center. Just run to center. No, he like he tried to punish Brian by the edge, like too desperately. Like if you're if you're given this 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 breath of life, re, re, regain center. Like that's like the game plan against Kaon is you gotta regain center as fast as possible because like he loves the ledge. Like there's no there's no point in fighting him there. Oh, and yeah, he got he got a free he got a free wave shine. So like really close first game, lots of good like neutral wins by Merc that like he he normally wouldn't have gotten like a couple months ago. You can tell that he's improving really fast. That's good. I got my buddy Clyde. 
hopping on for the co-commentary. What is up, everybody? Couldn't leave my man doing here by himself because solo commentary is the worst. You know, I actually, I'm one of the few. I like it. You want me to get at it? No, 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 no. I can go. I can go. Oh! What? How did? How do you get caught by that second knee? I can't believe it. Like I actually can't believe it. No, 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 no. I can go. I can go. Phew, I like it. You want me to get at it? No, 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 no. I can get go. But like, the the miss tech against Falcon is like you're basically putting yourself in the grave. Like why? How could you not tech against Falcon? It's the only thing that he can really destroy is just miss tech. That dash dance left right. Oh. Like did he, did Brian up uh, did Brian uh, B did he I'm side B like, what, like, like how did he get caught there? No no no, no 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 I can go I can go. <laughs> I think I heard up B for like a half second. I'm one of the few. I like it. You want me to get at it? No, he no, was no, up no, being no, there, I but like I, but why up B there is what I'm saying. Like that was a bad position in Brian. I'm glad Merck punished it, but like it was like the first time I ever seen Brian there. Oh I can go. <laughs> Oh, and just like Nothing that, a to see here, folks. quick <laughs> stock for Merck. Yeah, double knee, double knee. That was sick. Nah, dude. Friend, a friend is always better, though. Another missed tech. That's where you, oh, that's where you just go for it again. Yeah, if someone's showing you that they're missing tech a bunch in the same spot, just keep on punishing it until they do something about it. Yeah. Or, or he was looking for roll in. One it's like when you're playing that Netplay Fox. Like, so like he's like he's like bronze two. He's like from like some some secluded area of like of like Ohio, and you're like <coughs> and you queue for Netplay. He's like, hey hey, sorry, I'm new. I need tips. And like you keep on down throwing them, and they keep on missing the tech. Like you're gonna keep on kneeing them. Like knee 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 knee. It's like over and over again. Like if someone's if, if you're going to keep on getting a grab on someone and they keep on missing this tech here, just knee it every time. Or, you know, don't even don't even jab reset. Like, you can get so much more than jab reset. Um, and I think that Merc just didn't Stop trust that Brian yeah, would miss it again. Knee, double knee, That was sick. Nah, dude. Friend, a friend is always better, though. Oh, he read that spot dodge. Yeah, he knew. Or, or he was looking for rolling. Like, if the next time Brian gets knocked down, he misses the tech, then I would... I would I would say that Merc isn't doing a good job of reading into how Brian is, like, his his patterns basically. And one of the, one of the two. Or he's covering both. Yeah, yeah, he did. Okay. Nice. Yeah. You okay, he texts it. When you That's get good. caught in like Falcon's Nair, it's just like the worst feeling because you know, like, up oh, here comes the grab. Here you know? comes mm. anything. Yeah. Ooh, he double Falcon jumps there. The I can't believe he was like, able. Well, like, what happened? Point. How did he? How? Yeah, yeah. That's weird. Unless he just needs me and I'm dead. Pick, yeah, your it's, Pick your poison. It's definitely the grab into God damn it. Yeah, hundred. True combo. Oh, they get a protect with smart. Love that late in there. He but like mm. he went for it, but he wasn't even. Actually, that at that moment, I probably would have like, shield grab like instead he of went roll for it to see if it would work. Yeah, <laughs> it's one of those. I'm gonna throw that out there and see if you get hit by it. Yeah. He's got, it's kind of like when a boxer is uh, walking somebody Ooh. down. He throws out jabs. Just see time. Uh, trying to figure out. Right, yeah. Where you at he called. He head. called out move. Falcons do that a lot. Where like. Falcon has like, such limited options off stage, so they like they kind of get into a, a weird like panic mode. There's uh, walking somebody down. So like, like see here, it's like they know that like the only really option that I, I feel like up air was probably better here than than Nair. Nair would have worked if if they were if he was horizontal to the Falcon like going for his own Nair. But when the when the fox is coming from above, usually up air is a good interrupt. Aerial from the edge, not necessarily there. So that was just a, that was that was a case of just the wrong like when a boxer the wrong is, uh, move to re like retaliate. Just, she's timing him. She's trying to figure out. And that was actually a really good bait by Brian. He he like double, he full jumps up to to think that he's gonna get bared, but he just falls right back down. And Merc respects the bear so much that he doesn't fade away, so all he just right, covers all of it. Where's your head? So that yeah, was really yeah, good yeah. by Cam. Forward smash. That's okay. even better. Yeah, that works. Not techable. Uh, no, but I feel super bad for Falcons because forward smash covers so much. I know. Uh, it might uh, cover bad movement. everything. Uh, oh, he's he's trying to read he's trying to read tech in so much and it's not it's like the I think like the three times he's went for the read they've all missed. Yeah. Misses the gentleman. I have no clue how you gentlemen. Okay. Yeah, uh, he's doing it too fast. And he was yeah. doing it the last time I watched him play too. <laughs> Not the best, but it's okay. Nice little cheese with the update. Like there, I, I, I don't agree with that dare. No you gentlemen. Just knee. Knee, or like back air or something. Like dare, like you had to force yourself into like the like the, the, the quote-unquote swag option, which was up B off the top, which was like not very smart. Yeah, uh, he's doing it too fast. And he was yes. doing it the last time I watched him play too. Nice little cheese with the update. Yes. Merc getting caught in his movement. Up air. Up air. Yep. Okay, cool. There you it's go. All you need. 164, nowhere to go off the up throw. 
Mm. Tilt looking like a Falco combo here. Merc is a uh, Merc been playing great recently. He's been taking some names. Yeah, I could see him having okay. trouble with uh, Kaon specifically. So Brian is just uh, forcing just him off stage, every, or Kaon forcing him off stage like every time he can get him a, uh, get a hit on him. Go. All of his hits are just to like up, towards bro. the same direction. Up tilt, that nair was nair turn up tilt was sick. Merc is a uh, Merc been playing great recently. He's been taking some names. And that was yeah, a great side B, but he didn't land on the platform to like make it to like put him in a better situation. Kaon specifically, uh, just play style wise. Oh, yeah, you think that's rough? Yeah. You think so? Rough stock. Yeah. I was I was saying like Merc likes to Merc actually plays like pretty slow in neutral. Like yeah. he plays the long game. Damn, bro. if Merc loses this game, he, he was he on the verge of doing a, a reverse three zero. That's crazy. Right, and, right. Like, Kaon kind of isn't gonna give you that. Yeah, yeah, Merc's definitely very, like, defensive. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Oh, God, those up tilts are so Kayon's brutal. Say, okay, you want to play defensive, that's, that's fine. I have lasers. He's just trying to call yeah. out, like, like he's together. trying to call out Brian going to right, him, and right. Brian yeah, just calling him out for going to him. Well, yeah, damn. I mean, he is faster in a way. You're that's, right. He's yeah. explosive. Yeah. Goes right. back to Battlefield again. You know, honestly, like, my, my opinion is that if you, if you, if you lose, if you, if you lost on a stage, like, I don't like always going right back unless I feel like, like, I, it was me that lost, not necessarily like the stage that that did not give me benefit. And like changing the the, the scenario kind of opens your brain a little bit and like lets you relax. Um, I know that whenever I used to play against Evan Animal on Long Island, uh, we would play Battlefield Game One, and then I'd switch to Yoshi's, the Game Two, and I would just work. Like I would go to work. And just like the the change of pace, even though the stages look kind of similar, but like you know they're totally different stages. Um, the like. It would be like directly after that game, but just seeing a different scenery makes your brain think that like, oh, something new, and like it gives you a little bit of a, like a release. So going back to Battlefield for the third time after you're down 2-0, I don't know if I agree with that. And uh, just like that, we are Kaon's up two games. I mean, they're, they're respectable to be oh. sure, but oh, this is filthy. oh wow, gets caught with the update. That's everything. Merco's to the ledge. I guess I don't really know where else he would go. Maybe he could have just air dodge instead of up beat. Would have been quicker. Maybe I I, I see oh. why he didn't. You know I'd be oh. crazy. I get it, but that was good. Yeah. He like waited just the hair he needed to. Mm -hmm. yeah. What a oh, shine stall. <laughs> but like, he I didn't do anything about it. it. Okay. Um, oh, the, the one the time, DIY. the oh, one time that he rolls yeah. in, yeah. or tech he rolls in. That's that. crazy. He gets the read. <laughs> DI in, you get need. Right. But yeah, like one out of four, like high. I don't know so if that's you worth. Just like no DI, like neutral DI, and maybe he can't get either. Um, you know what know. I might have done? Depending on where you are, maybe actually, the, what people say is the worst. Maybe like down and out, and uh, try to hit the try to tech. Yeah, the 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 stage. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's really good actually against like knee. Yeah, because sometimes you're not gonna survive either way, so you go with that hail mary. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm I'm dead if I'm below the stage there. I'm dead if he hits me to the blast zone. So I might. Well God, Merc's neutral looks so solid sometimes. Like the fact that he uses so much dash dance mm -hmm. and like I'm, I'm he's so okay with just like there, waiting and not necessarily zone. committing too hard. Like Brian does an up tilt and Merc is still dash dancing. Go like look, Hail Mary. Mm -hmm. I mean, like I'm, impatient I'm Falcon I'm runs into that. There, I'm dead if he hits me to look at that right there. Like he he was he was super patient and did not and did not like jump the gun. Blast zone. So I might as well try to tech. Yep. Yeah, I agree with that. Also with Sheik. Yeah. Trip. Dude, he did a double shine and then turned around. Sick. Oh, Terrible. No. Oh, no. Ah, but he didn't punish it. Rising Rising Dare would have killed that. In? Oh, what? He got in between Falcon. Oh, no man. But, like, that's such... What that's the like hell? Roy zone. <laughs> Kaon is having a good time. He's having a ball. <sighs> I guess I can't criticize because I was doing the exact same shit. Nice uh, stall there. That's it. See, stalling at the ledge is like really good when your opponent's really cocky. Yeah. <laughs> like Kaon is being right now. Yeah, I agree 100%. with 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 DZ. Merc's got the face of a Stone Cold Killer on right now. Yeah, yeah, he's he's like nah, he's in dude. the zone. He's ready. He's just trying to cool him off, but uh, off the ledge, that's that's a rough spot. Yeah, it, and that's super character. Like mm -hmm. Falco, Fal uh, Fox, and Falco have all the answers. Mm. You know, they have every tool to just like up throw shine. Uh, he wanted to go for another Especially shine, Falcon, you know, Falcon, and Merc's getting Merc's getting actually kind of like lucky off of like the fact that Brian is oh, like okay. uh, misspacing his jump at him Merc's to get like hit by the up B. Was a little messed up. Yeah, but maybe an extra dash back than he needed. Yeah. Oh, oh he wanted that up air. He fell too far. So close. Yeah. Up smash? No. He's looking for tech behind. 
Okay. Ooh, mid short. shorten. Yeah. Okay, so he wanted the mid shorten. Definitely looking like we could be going to game four, but you know, with, again with Captain Let's Falcon, it, you can just be done. It could just happen. Like this could be it. Yeah. This oh be easy man, dude, Brian's yeah. conversions off of hits against Falcon are actually like pretty okay, solid. He does a Falcon kick up B. Oh yeah. He knew. He knew. <laughs> okay. Whatever. You think that was like a hey? You might try to shine me like a scumbag. And I'm just gonna stomp you. <laughs> Yo, if if that actually happens and he won, Merck's Merck's oh, playing this last stock like the way that I tell people to play their last stocks when they're nervous is to not be overzealous. He's just like, all right, I'm gonna I'm gonna throw out a move and I'm gonna and like I'm I'm gonna call him out when I when I think he's Yo, he's gonna if try to that approach happens, like and he won. Oh and he my. got the spike. Like I such crazy dash dance. Yeah. Yeah. The last time y'all would hear from me, I'd be done. I'd pop off and just dip it. He would have won the set, quote unquote. Uh, <laughs> Look at that. He's just he's just oh, doing. No. He's repeating uh, like 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 tech options or he's repeating tech skill options. Like y'all would hear from me, I'd be done. I'd pop Nair, off and just dip back here. Nair, back here. Yeah. Oh, it would have been over <laughs> in my mind. Yeah. <laughs> I would have gotten reported the match a, a three zero for Merc. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Okay. <clears throat> oh, okay. Yeah. The roll. Yeah. Yeah, that's the nice thing about like Spacey's Nair. Uh, like, if you see, Falcon's Nair sucks because because Fox's up tilt comes out faster if if you're anticipating it. So you can you can up tilt Falcon's Dare, which is why it's so scary to do it so raw because uh, Fox can call it out so fast. Short. I mean, you only they only have like what seven frames of landing. Oh, that was a good. Like why did he just and forward tilt? Just spot dodge or shine or. Does jab, Merc like, does Merc take a game? I thought it was three two. So yeah. precise to grab it before you can shine or whatever. Yeah, I mean, they have so many things that are just like, you thought this was a commitment. Nah, I'm kidding. Yeah. Oh, what else? No! no! He should have no! just stomped, bro. Should have just grabbed ledge, bro. <gasps> I would have said that's it. That's it. Oh, no! He's choking, he's choking so hard. Oh my god, that could have been it. The clock's good, run out. Good tomahawk. Oh Time my up. gosh. No. <laughs> he won the game so many times. I can't believe it took him so long. Oh, bro. Holy sh! Like yeah, know, he right. calls out a side B with it, like yeah, an amazing yeah, so forward tilt. Just like, you thought this was a commitment? Nah. I'm like the the empty hot forward tilt, super good. It, it makes it makes the fox think that he's safe in what he's doing. Yeah, yeah. There you gotta just stomp. I agree. Like he need, but he was no one. He was in no position to need because fox was directly below him. <gasps> no. He should have no. just stomped, bro. Should just got ledge, bro. <laughs> I would have said that. And knee! Oh, and he gets nervous and he misses it. That's it. That's it. Oh, oh, oh my god. he's choking. He's choking, choking so and so then hard. Brian misses up his, his wave dash. Oh my god. Oh, and he, then he, he tomahawks. The clock's run out. And I cannot believe he was so patient that he doesn't up throw, empty hop, wave dash down, and then just knee right. Like, that's that's crazy. So good nerve control by Merc to not like to start getting like, I gotta win. Time's well, up. Over Blau. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> and he's all smiles. Let's now. go Q's. <laughs> They're both all smiles. Yeah, Kalen's <laughs> like, all right, all right. That's how it is when you play the home. If something sick happens or you're both joking, you both just know. They give yeah. each other that look like sun. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so this is this is Falcon's worst stage in the matchup, in my opinion. Uh, I think that Fountain is do is more doable. Now Kalen's like, yeah, okay. I hope you had a good time, Merc. Yeah, because this is it. <laughs> FD. Ugh, the stage. Super, super confused. Brian is side being, or Kayon is side being so much into Merc. And I'm actually surprised that Merc isn't calling it out more with like knees off stage. He's he's waiting on stage, which is good, but I feel like he could be calling, but like that forward till he did that one time, super sick. Keep uh, If you can hit Fox off stage better, um, then it's, it's better than hitting him while he's on stage in, in his recovery. Um, obviously, because like you, you can set up the edge guard, the edge guard much easier, but. I like that he's choosing like the safer option, which is wait for the fox to appear in front of you and then hit him instead of going for the hard commitment of kneeing off stage. stage. But like, like Brian is can sh can is showing so much that uh, he's just instant uh, recovering back to him. So there actually is no risk in, uh, in there's no real risk in trying it. Maybe with like an up air or something that like caught, catches him. Super Here, like I would I would have jumped off down to the knee. Super confused. But he's, he waits on stage with back air, which is good. And actually, um, Kayon texts in. Um, so maybe Merc, if, if, he, if, he was if he was more patient and not in, in, a, in a jump animation, he could have punished it better. Why no fountain? Up tilt, up smash. Okay. Okay, Whoa! Reverse fair. 
That yeah. was that was just done extremely well. He reacted mm -hmm. to the no tech. See, like the 50-50 with Falcon recovering is he's gonna double yeah. jump like over the Can ledge, Can's waiting around fucking Falcon shield a lot. Spot double jump yeah, look at look at the look at the the dash dancing around it. The, the <coughs> 50, 50, Straight Murph to edge. Yeah, he there's the only thing that he could have really done to mix that up is like time. to to do a he high up B and then fade away. And like, the, sorry, here. Double jump sweet spot. Here double he was he was limited on options. 50, 50. I think I think he sh I think dipping low just sentences him to death, unless he gets the tech on edge. I feel like uh, up being high and then going for the fade away would have been Murph better. Never does it. He always double jump sweet spots. Yeah. Every time. So you just have to hard call him out over and over, and he'll still he'll still like do it. Oh! So like, oh! That's Adapting just like a is... lack of player knowledge, I think. Yeah. On Kayon's part. Adapting mid set is, is something Ooh, a lot of people what? struggle with. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, and I mean like. Kayon good patience. I feel like Merc, Merc, Merc's. If, you, if you've never seen Merc play before, it's it's super good like to to watch this because you can see how patient he is as a player. So like you know already that Merc is a patient player. Um. And like I don't really get a chance to play Merc in bracket very often because he doesn't get that far to me. Um. <laughs> but. He right here shows how patient he is and just waiting for, for someone who is even a, a notably more patient player than him. Too often, so. Like, I, I play Merc, I've, I've played Merc a lot, so I kind of know a lot of his habits. Like, I have never played Merc in bracket. In bracket? Never. Have you have you played him in friendlies a lot? Oh yeah, or? we play a decent amount of friendlies. Oh, okay. Yeah. Actually, look at that! Look at the look at the crazy patience! Like that's exactly how you're gonna beat Brian with Falcon or God, Kayon. I can't I, I can't say Kayon. Um, that's like oh, okay. a, that, that's how yeah. you're gonna do it. He he doesn't even commit when he sees a get up. He commits when he sees a spot dodge. Actually, um, oh, I nice. expected the but he back airs, he back throws on accident. I think. Whoa! Awkward reverse knee. He has to knee that. Yeah, isn't that funny how that worked? Out? I feel like I feel like he has to knee that, not up air that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I feel like up air is a is a is a safe call is a safe move, but rising knee, right there, that would have killed him. Or it would have sent him right, and then he would have died. Like if he rising kneed here, it would, and Cam would have died. Yeah, isn't that funny how that worked out? Yeah, I saw it and I was like, oh, we might have a chance to actually do this. Regrab! Oh, oh my god, that's so sick. The di wow. mix ups. Oh my god. Let's go. Merc's heating up. Grab. Okay. Oh. Oh, oh. Okay. <laughs> nice roll. Not uh, Kayon not falling for the spot dodge. Oh, it seems, makes me so happy to see some of dash dance. Oh my god, I cannot believe how good Merc's playing. Oh. Tilt. Yeah, dude, you just gotta time your dash dance grab, and you'll beat that up tilt every time. Every time Brian okay. gets these like around forty percent conversions, they're always like forty to one hundred. Like every time, he he has a really solid combo game on Falcon. Okay. That was a, that was a, a, a wise forward smash. Yeah. Perfectly did he, even, did he even jump after the Falcon kick? Uh, I saw the no, side I, think, I think he just gave up. <laughs> I hate to see that, honestly. Because you Ooh, never know. They wow, might mess up. Right. No reason not to. Plus, it gives you more time to think. But Good angle, those guys, like, but I think he didn't he commit hard beating. enough to his dash. He'll just go, ah, you're right, you're right. And he'll just... Yeah. He's Like, like it helps him almost, <sighs> oh, like, calm wow. down. Wow. I wanted to see a fast... Dude, that was actually... Was that pivot up there? Yeah. He's like... No, it was... I mean, I felt like it was like a... Pivot turn or something, but that was a it sick up air. Almost like, uh, and I, I'm glad he didn't commit to that because Brian faded away, um, uh, and he that. just he put himself in, a, in an objectively safer option. What's up, maybe? Down. I wanted to see a fast one either, but whatever, man. Make it do it, do. Yeah. Make that work. So. Oh, that F smash. Oh, he, That's the Clyde. He goes for the Clyde. Oh, it's good, Jeremy. <laughs> he goes for the Clyde. <laughs> Angel Cruz right now is somewhere, just like getting salty, ready to message you. Dude. He's yeah. so salty. <laughs> Shout out to Flinchy. Angel. Oh, back throw is the most annoying thing. Yeah. For both of these characters, when you get a back throw on accident. Yeah. Merc's playing works. so smart. I feel like the, the, the not committing too much, but committing just enough is so good in, in these situations against Fox. The spacing okay. here. I misses his dash, I think. I didn't like that second grab. First one, I understand what you're going for. I didn't like that. Oh, he had, to, he had to be ready second for it. Felt panicky. No. Yeah. And if you want to beat Kayon, you fade. Keep your composure. Uh, and there's also like don't fade here. A certain point in time, go all the way you left. You're missing every gentleman, and you should just probably. And then he jumps. Oh, I thought he landed. Maybe oh, that not, sucks. You, you, know, you can't like stop playing the way you want to, you know. Also, you're not gonna hit them unless you uh you practice it under pressure. You know what I mean? True. You're right. You're right. Ah, uh, he's he's like he's pressuring you, uh, Kayon by the corner so much, but he's pressure. not putting himself you know in a good mean? position. Look at this. Like right here, uh, he he dash danced by the edge, and he dangled like by like the center mid edge whatever, and Brian was by the edge, 
and he was getting scared of what Merck can do. Like, maybe he thought that he was in a knee forward. So he rolls towards center, and I feel like Merck could have expected that to happen because of how much pressure he's putting on him. And wait here. Like, he, I think he jumps right. True. And he doesn't, yeah, he sets him up, he doesn't set himself up to cover this role, which he's, he's seeing that Brian's getting so, like, scared. Uh... Yeah, Jeremy, if you do, actually, if you donate any amount, I think. Oh, no, if you, if you donate more than... What is it? I think, I think, I think, if, you, I think if you donate more than $5, like $4, I think it shows up. Yeah. You're right. You're right. It's just like he hasn't hit one yet. Ooh! Oh, wow. Okay. Nice. Yeah. So it does. So it was a game five set. I was talking about that before. You know when you're a space... This is, this is, so this is a weird reverse... Um, this is a weird reversal situation, because... You don't really see reverse throws happen like this, where like it's like barely clutching two games against somebody. They, they dash attack the Actually, that game four was pretty solid, so I'm not gonna call that barely. Opponent. But it wasn't like a stomp, you know. St usually, like when you get, and in reverse three O's, like game three or game four, one of those are a stomp, and then like like the person's tilted. And the opponent always techs in place when they hit the ground, because do they? It's like. The, now he goes found. It's done in the animation and the angle. Is this is uh if you, if so if. if Merc knew Kaon as a player, not so much as a fox. Like he would know that this is actually Kaon's one of Kaon's favorite stages, so he has to be prepared to be playing on this stage like a much much earlier in the set. That's why it's nice when you're Falcon to win game one, um, because you're probably going to Fountain game two or you're going to Fountain game three, because um, being down 2-0 and then having FD and Fountain still to, to go pretty rough. So slow. Oh, okay. That yeah. when they finally hit the ground, they want to just hit the fast. Look at those up airs. He was just like, "Come, come hit me, please." Like, I don't want to. I don't want to commit to you. The angle is so Because like, slow. if if he if he jump uh, up aired and hit Brian on this top platform, Brian could have crouch canceled it and then probably just like got some advancement on him. Okay. That um, when they finally hit the ground, but like, they... Merc is consistently staying down here and not busting this like pressure bubble that that Brian's trying to keep, they which is so just good. Hit the fastest option to like, or or that might be the reason. I don't really know why. But this is the stage I thought we were going to last time. Me too. Or, or that I would Yeah, low percent Fox is going to crouch cancel those nares. Nice down, down tilt, though, there. is weird. Crouch cancel down tilt is, like, so good. So good. As spaces against, like, characters that don't have... Oh, he tries to cover tech right with down tilt, but, so like, good. even so then, like, it puts you in a weird position. Against, like, Look at this. Why would you down tilt here? Because they're going to be so close to the edge where, like, maybe shine or, like, forward smash or something is probably better than down tilt. Characters. Like, like, look where that down tilt sweeped. M-A-G-A-S-N-O-O-M-A-G-A. <laughs> Thanks, Jeremy, for the four dollars. I appreciate it. Um, I think I think that re that replaces that too. Let me see. I I I, I would have to figure that out. I thought I thought it was the most recent donator. Um, let me let me figure that out. Hold on. Give me a second. Um. See, it's been it's been a while since uh, a donation. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. There we go. Okay. Cool. Um. <clears throat> that don't have like you know peach level crowd. Thank you, Jeremy. I appreciate yeah. it. Um, Whoa! Did you call that? Did you see that side B call out? Well, back back to the match. Don't have. Look at that. Like you know, peach level crouch cancel. That's the side B call out that that I've been waiting for. Cause like Brian's or Cam has been showing that so much this set, where he's just instant side being after being hit off stage. Cause like, uh, Can kind of assumes like uh, bad play from the people he plays sometimes. So he kind of puts himself to be lazy, and immediately side B's. And Merc has been seeing it so much to set that he knees and. Can has no idea it's coming. Yeah. Um, oh, look at that. It. Oh no. And I and like that's that's crazy that um that 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 stomp would have been the the finisher, but uh, Can just barely missed the edge. And Can knows so uh, positive situation for Falcon, but like finally punishing a a bad habit that can has been doing like the entire set. He had to dip low, or he was gonna get you know neat or up aired again. Yeah. And then the stomp mix up comes out. I expected okay. up air the ledge. Oh okay. Amazing. Oh my God, he's oh, playing so good. Wow. Oh, Merc's like, he, all right, he's getting these reads, that's, but he's not like committing. That's you know? so rough. Yeah, either that or he's. I, 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 I like that's that makes me sad. <clears throat> my sound, my mic sounds crisp. It, yeah, it's this is the Sennheiser uh, game. No, this is the Sennheiser PC 363D. 
I got it. A, uh, I think I got it two years ago. It's really good. Oh. So he, so Merc's playing the stock super good, and he is like always in position to be punishing every every like panic option that Brian's doing or Can's doing. So that was good that he 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 did the second hit in air immediately runs up grabs. Yeah. Up air the ledge. Then he waits for the tech. Waits for the side B again, dashes right, and then grabs. Oh, that was smart. Wow. So everything's going so good for Merc. And he he's he dash dances to the point where he makes Brian roll. But then he gets scared that, that Brian rolled behind him. Where he's the whole time he's he's reading Brian going behind him. So he should just be putting himself constantly in that situation to get to get Brian behind him, you know what I mean? Like he I feel like he got scared of like the option that he's been covering the whole time. Oh, Merc's like all right, he's getting these reads, but he's not like committed. It's almost like, like, why did he do it again? Like, why did he get back in that position again? Think, you know. Yeah. Either that, or he's flubbing, but he's yeah. he's moving very well, and it looks like he's outthinking uh, K on sometimes. And yeah. He's just not like oh, how really dude, how does like, he keep doing those side Bs? Playing really well. He's doing it again. A, a, just a and he rolls like, in again. Nervous. There's like, so many. There's yeah, so many. I don't want to say he's like, slow. I just want to say he's panic ball. options happening from. Right. Oh, oh, what up? Was that? Pivot turn? Yeah, like, yeah, cause I don't want to say he's slow. I just want to say he's a hair off. Wow, that's like for those that are watching, like like Merc is a technical falcon, and he's also a really smart player as well. But I wouldn't expect him to be able to be so comfortable in in his technical ability to be able to execute something like this, where I would expect a bear to come out, something else. But he put himself like, in a position to punish like, the upbeat yeah, towards stage, as if he was. If, as if he knew that Brian kept on opting for the option to to like get back to center with a recovery. I say he's slow. I was gonna say he's a like he react. He there's no way this was a reaction. This had to be a read because unless his reaction time is that godlike, like that's crazy. He's dashing right the same frame that that Kayon is up being at him. So there's no way that that was a reaction. That had to be just a confident read that oh he just keeps on uh, recovering to center. So I'm just gonna if he's just gonna up be like that, I think he's just gonna go to center. The hair off. Right. Oh, and he's oh. gonna need that. Kayon always goes straight, dude, onto the stage. <laughs> and it's also a uh, Kayon thing. The Kayon does do up straight angle a lot. Always just tries to hit people with his up It's so funny. Okay, yeah. Um Kayon had like that good DI and like mash that's roll. Good. Yeah, that that's 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 just a classic Falcon thing. Like you you catch them okay, double yeah. jumping to edge, um, and Kayon's like, Kayon. really good at yeah at, at calling double jumps like that. And I think he you I think he double jumped too low because like he wasn't in he wasn't close to grabbing edge there. That was just like I think he just double jumped too early and like mash or, or too late. Sorry, that's it out of the nair. And that's the thing in this matchup, man. Fox will just kill you. Yeah, yeah. No text on the wall means uh, shine spikes get buffed. Yeah. Ugh. And end with Falcon's recovery at that, you know, being Ooh. not the greatest. Yeah. Below a ledge, specifically. See, the, 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 the low percent combos by k are so <laughs> yep. are so solid. Good, I'm glad he went all the way there. Oh, all he right. caught he, he cat, okay. caught, caught yeah, the, 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 the DI, the fadeaway DI, where, like, the Falcon's trying to fade away and just gets hit during the fadeaway. Second bear better, uh, but he wasn't expecting it. Okay. Okay, okay. good. He misses his oh, short hop. Oh, I thought he was going to try to stomp and uh, maybe edge. Up air to shield, maybe. Oh, okay. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you just walk up slowly. <laughs> every time I play Falcon, at least in one of the friendlies, I go for it. You have uh, to. For the hype. Dude, you got to just knee at that percent. Yep. Like when you're down a stop. Uh, nice! Okay. okay, that's a good one. Oh, but like back air or something? I don't know. It's, it pains me to not see the kill, though. Good not overcommitment because overcommitment would have killed you there. Yep. Now here comes the gun. Yeah, he's lasering. He's just like, I don't wanna, I don't wanna mess with it. Okay. Okay. So, so the one time he stop, he gets impatient and starts going to center. That's when he back airs him. He holds his ground. <sighs> so this situation is so scary, cause like you're the you're the 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 worst the quote unquote worst player, playing Falcon against Fox and Fountain of Dreams game five last stock you have higher percent. Like I can name like twenty five different reasons of why this is scary for the Falcon player. This right. is head. I'm glad he did that. But he spot dodges on the side platform. But he oh, double jumps oh, sweet spots again. Oh, no DI. Oh, no DI. oh man, that sucks. <laughs> so I, I guess so. Oh, I guess Kayon right, came right from the respawn ground. platform and hit him. I'm glad. Oh, he spot dodges. I think he meant to shield drop right there. And he did that, but he's and he misses the tech right after because I think he's spot nervous. 
Okay, and he grabs ledge, which is good. He immediately does uh, the regular get up, which I think he probably could have benefited from a ha from like a quick hack stash and then hack stash run to center. He needed center this situation. He did not. He did not need to be playing by the edge right here. Oh, oh and then that's bad di on the back air. Oh no di, no di. Uh, game five last stock. Damn. What a good set. Merc almost crawled Damn. out of a serious hole. Yeah, he really did. And I have to stuff that Merc can take away from this set is <laughs> look at Brian's face. <laughs> I can't zoom in. <laughs> wait. Go play. Oh, fuck. Wait. Merc almost crawled Damn. out of a serious hole. Yeah, he really did. And <laughs> <laughs> um, I feel like Merc had so many tools to win the set. And I think he was catching on to Brian way too late. Just like way too late. And uh, I don't know. Like, I want to say that like... He, he was like, I don't know, he, he had the ability, what's up Jay, he had the ability to win at so many points, and Brian's combo game, and I guess Brian's like, Brian was just winning neutral and taking it further, but when Merc was, was playing with fire, it was just like, so unbeatable, like, uh, there was there was a couple of stocks where I, I just didn't know what Brian could do, like, like for, for real, like, it was, it was scary. Um... But there's a lot that that um, Merc can be happy about from this, just the fact that like so many things went right. Um, he played objectively well. Even he didn't win the set, but he still played well. Um, there's there's just so much gold deep in this that he can just hold on to and just be happy about. So I would say that the one of the main reasons that this game was was a loss was just because of this right here. It means uh, shine spikes get buffed. Yeah. And end with Falcon's recovery at that. Merc was winning when he when he was moving, and when Brian was able to keep Merc, um, <clears throat> he was able to keep like Merc locked down for a while, um, and every time Merc was in shield and Brian was moving around him, I feel like he had a hard time figuring out what to do. So like right here, like Skip up. like this looks different than all the other stocks where Merc was playing well. Yeah. It's and like end with Falcon's recovery at that, you know, being not the greatest. Yeah. Below it, ledge specifically. There's a whole bunch of things that look at it really it. hard for him. <laughs> yeah. Focus on only Falcon. This Wait. stock. Yeah, yeah. No text on the wall. Means uh So so now from this point, focus on only Falcon and look at the way he's moving. Shine spikes get buffed. Yeah. Like and end with Falcon's recovery at that, you know, being not the greatest. Yeah. Below ledge, specifically. There's a whole bunch of things that make it really hard for him. <laughs> yep. It, it's rough. And that I think that's part of the reason why this game happened the way it did. Because he was, like, winning the whole time when he was moving. Yeah. But then this one stock where he starts feeling the pressure more, and he starts shielding Falcon's a lot. He starts moving awkwardly out of shield. You know, he greatest. starts getting hit by all these yeah. different ledge, parts of him. Specifically. He's, he walks slowly and then shields and double jumps. There's a whole... Loses his double jump there. He has to force to up B. Gets hit by a bear again. Now he has to force to up B high again. He's in an edge situation for like uh, forever. And then the second back here he dies. If 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 Merc was able to hold stage and not so much be in the air there, I think he could have he could have won this game and it would have been different. But it wasn't. So that's really unfortunate. But I feel like I don't know, look at that. Oh, look at him. <laughs> um. It sucks because like he he was he was really on fire. I feel like he was playing super super good, um, and it's a shame to see someone lose in such a fashion when like they're still playing good. It's just like at the at, at critical moments they weren't keeping it together. Um, but that was a fun set to analyze, and I hope Merck uh, rewatches this so that he can uh, get a taste of.